Sometimes it is just too much. So embarrassed. <laughs> Am I just talking too much? I don't remember any of that. <laughs> There's a lot I don't remember, too. Too much information? We say that after every one of these, and I for know. some reason, we're employed all the time. <laughs> too much, it's ruined. I can't believe we have a show. We might not tomorrow. Stacey and Hutch, say too much. Here we go! Saying too much all the time. I've already gotten some chocolate on my white pants. Yay. Oh, you did? Yes, of course. Oh. And did I bring my emergency stain remover? No. Oh. I think so we're off to a great start. I might have a Tide pen somewhere. Well, you know, somebody tr- down the hall turned me on to this really great stuff, and I don't know why I didn't keep it with me. Let Alex lick it over and over and over again. He's got a cat like a, to- a tongue like a cat. And a cat like a tongue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> both. Both. Which, which yes, both. makes me quite the most underperforming superhero of all time. <laughs> You're weird. You can I get out it. of any situation just by licking. That's true. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, people want you out of there. Right, yeah. Immediately. Just by licking, you can get out of jail bars. You know. I, I tried that when I was uh, younger, mm. and I got put in handcuffs, and then the cops charged me with assault. Mm. Oh. And it, so they didn't understand the power I was bringing to the table. Hey, I've seen some stupid ideas in my lifetime. I create most of them. But an ammo vending machine. Yeah, A lot of, of ammo that. vending machines are turning up. I South. thought that was a joke. No, it's real. Yeah. Why? Uh, why? Well, here's what they say. Um, Texas-based American Rounds has already installed at least one in their home state, adding to several in Oklahoma, Alabama, Florida, and Colorado could see them installed in the coming weeks. Buyers must be at least 21 years old, show a photo ID so AI can check for facial match. Okay. The machines are being installed in grocery stores. In grocery stores. <sighs> This, here here comes the the future multiple lawsuits. Yeah. Right? When somebody gets ammo in their face because something messed up with their face. and oh, I just, it's just AI. We're, we're trusting AI now to sell ammo. Are yeah. we really that desperate that we have to get my bullets right this minute? You know what I mean? Well, down in Texas. Yeah. It's like, oh, you got to refill? Yeah, some guy said something nasty about my car. Right. I had to blow him away. So I need to refill. Yeah, like, uh, oof. Duh. Yeah, I mean, first off, I expected Florida to start this. Right. They're still waiting for it. Patiently. <laughs> Patiently, they're <laughs> waiting for the ammo vending machine. But it did get me thinking. There's a lot of, like, the vending machine craze in Japan is insane. It's like you can, the craziest vending machines are popping up all over the place, and Japan has most of them. Yeah. Well, they 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 don't like to do anything that's not automated. I don't know. Remember the vending machine we had where you could get, like, an animal, like a cat? No. What? Remember, what are you we talked about? about this. It, it popped up, and it was so sad. I don't remember that. It was like a couple of weeks ago, a month ago. Um, hmm. But there are some shocking vending machines. You can get one in China that has a live crab vending machine. Live crab. Those. Are you supposed to use the crab as food or a pet? I Is it the little ones? Like food, a permit? Right? There were some uh, restaurants. It probably was Japan. Or I even think they have one of these in uh, like a restaurant in the States where it was like a claw machine, like an arcade claw machine. Mm-hmm. But it was for lobsters. And you could go down and pick up your lobster. If you did it, that's the one they cooked you. Uh, really? The restaurant. That's, that's like kind of weird, but I get it. Yeah. Red, if only Red Lobster had chosen something like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, the machine for the crabs, it maintains an ertal, uh, eternal, internal temperature of 41 degrees. Mm-hmm. So it keeps the crabs in hibernation without killing them. Oh, okay. But if you receive a dead crab after it vends, yes. the company's going to compensate you three live ones. When? Uh, Yay. Well, probably days. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't know if there's a button you push. They're going to Amazon it to us. The crabs will show just dead and gross anyways. In Los Angeles, they have a caviar vending machine. Now we're talking. Yeah, beluga caviar. Um, uh, if you go to the mall, you'll see an ounce of of the row for a cool five hundred dollars. Oh, okay. I thought it was that knockoff that I could I could afford. Like it was like ten bucks. That'd they be nice. Do have escargot and truffles as well in the vending machine. Mm. You get one small egg for ten dollars. Yummy. In Japan, there is a lettuce vending machine. Oh. We're not impressed with this. I'm going to say, like, <laughs> if I'm going to buy something out of a vending machine, it ain't going to be lettuce. Okay, how about this? How about a pizza vending machine where it makes it right in front of you? Okay, yes. that's cool. The dough, that's fun. the toppings, everything about it, it cooks in two and a half minutes, thanks to the brick oven method. And uh, you could get it for $6 each. It's just your own personal pizza hmm. that cooks right in front of you. That's fun. I like that one. How about a banana vending machine? We're getting worse. Mm, banana. Huh? It's going to get bruised. Starting to make the ammo one sound cooler. <laughs> Okay, how about this one? A mashed potato vending machine. I might like that. Is it going to mash it in front of me? 
Uh, It doesn't. It comes out. You put the bowl, then the mashed potatoes come out of it, then the gravy if you'd like it. The gravy is an extra dollar if you want it, but oh, it just comes out like a frosty, I bet. But it, well, it is at a 7 Eleven in Japan. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, in Singapore. And it, if if you get a big gulp with it, it's an extra two dollars. <laughs> have you ever had, have you ever tried one of the hot dogs at like 7 Eleven on the little rollies? Yeah. Have you? Well, yeah, they have them everywhere. And did, did you, you like, like it? it? They're good, yeah. I got a story of uh, a, an old buddy. He used to say, him and his friends, when they were like freshmen in college, they would go to this gas station and they would just lick all the hot dogs. Oh, oh no. come on. And I was I was never motivated to try one of those. And then after that, I was like, never. They're good. Never. I'd rather grill one myself. They In Australia, they have a French fry vending machine. Hmm. Hot, fresh fries. That's not bad. Beer and sake vending machine in Japan. Beer and sake. What? What? We that... should we should do an hour and a half podcast where you list a two hundred level list of these vending machines, and each one would just like, hmm, interesting. Hmm. I might like that. <laughs> it's an hour and a half of just going through a list. Hey, we can start now. A hot bread vending machine in Germany. Oh, hot fresh bread for you. Germans love their brot. Now we all seen the cupcake vending machines, right? Yes, I purchased from those. You haven't oh. seen those? They oh. had one at Mall of America, I know, for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have a donut one right outside of Can Can Wonderland. A Yay, donut vending machine. Donut. Um, all right, we're going to keep going here. Okay, hurry up. <laughs> Burger vending machine in Moscow. Would oh. you eat anything out of a vending machine in Moscow? Uh-uh. I don't, I don't know. Eat anything, any like hot food out of a vending machine. It would be funny as if they took... Uh, going back to the ammo thing, and then I'll let you continue. If you started replacing like Little Debbie snacks with guns <laughs> in, in regular vending machines. In regular vending machines. So you don't know what you're going to get necessarily. Now, this is the real test for Stacy. Okay. A grilled hot dog vending machine. Can I see it happening? Yes. Mm, yeah. Okay. You can literally watch it. It's a grilled hot that dog might be fun. vending machine. Uh, by the way, uh, a vending machine. <laughs> so dumb. A vending machine for vending machines. <laughs> are you saying that's a thing it is a saying, thing is it? it is a thing in japan you can purchase your own it's not as big as a vending machine it's like your own home vending machine oh yeah because you adult, purchase a vending machine for your home yeah because adult humans can't give birth to adult humans right An adult vending machine has to give birth to a baby, baby vending machine. Yeah. oh here here is your vending machine it's in las vegas the lobster vending machine wow yeah there we go catch them we cook them there it is. It literally has the claw, and it does cook it for you. Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing that. It seems a bit like you're playing God too much, doesn't it? Well, here's the thing is that it doesn't guarantee a win. It's $2 to try your hand at getting one. Oh, so you might go away hungry. Correct. And without a pet. <laughs> Could be worth it, yeah, can you? Yeah. Is there an option on the vending machine to say, don't cook this one, I want it raw? Or alive. Yeah. I brought yeah. My lobster. Oh, sorry. Alive. alive. Yeah. Away. Okay. Yeah. You're right. Alive. That's what I should have said. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, there you go. I brought Just my some... lobster leash with me. <laughs> oh, and finally, this one. I'll say one more and we'll Name be done. It pinchy. Underwear vending machine. Oh, well, sometimes that that's actually, necessary. Right. That actually isn't a bad idea. Yeah. You get they stuck have, on a plane. They have anything from granny panties to thongs to boxer briefs. Oh, Ooh. how nice. You know, this reminds me. Sorry, I'm very scatterbrained today. But the the crab on um, I bought my ex a crab on a stick. Okay, as a reward for doing good at the doctors. Uh-huh. <laughs> up at the it was up in Hampton Beach, New Hampshire, and we were on the boardwalk, and it was jam packed. Like, oh my god, look at that! It's a crab on a stick. Great, and walked around with it like it was like a little pet. It was adorable. And then somebody like made comments, and she said, "I'm blind," and <laughs> used it as like a cane. It was quite offensive. <laughs> I didn't approve of it. Just a random thought I had, random memory. Okay. Thanks for that, Alex. That You're was welcome. a good time. We appreciate it. I think that just segs us straight into snack chat. Okay. What's the latest grub? Soup's on, fat boy. You'll find out what's an oral gasm. Your chicken is delectable. And what's dorm food. That's disgusting. Because it's time to test your taste buds as we now present Stacy and Hutch's snack chat. All right, what you got for us, Stacy? I have for you the Choo Choo Nature Strawberries. Basically, what they've done is take taken some delicious strawberries, dehydrated them, then covered them in a layer of white chocolate and then a layer of dark chocolate, which I think is really tasty. They're delicious. Oops. Hands oh. down. Best. No doubt. Of course, it landed in my white pants again. This is what they're like so inside. Good. And they also have these. Um, I like the banana ones. 
Yeah, they also have them in the freezer section, mm-hmm. and they're not dehydrated. They're just fresh, I think. And frozen, and they're really good. Yeah, very good. I like these. These are good. Mm-hmm. That is a delightful treat. Right? What other, um, what other fruits have we seen? Pineapple. I've seen the pineapple Pomegranate. ones. Pomegranate. Uh-huh. Blueberry. The thing is, it's kind of expensive, but then so is it fresh is. fruit. Yeah. So you can I like egg, those. You can make good um, Australia, I want to say, eggplant ones. Chocolate-covered eggplant. Ooh. They're terrible. Okay. Yeah, that's good, terrible. good to know. Thanks, Alex, for that. Is it in a vending machine? Don't be racist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stacy. what else do you have? This one is Hershey's Milklicious. Milk chocolate with creamy chocolate milk filling. And there's a picture that's on. Is it a cow? It's supposed to be a cow. Oh, it's a yeah. cow. All right. It's a little cow. And um, they're, it's much creamier. Mm. And it's otherwise, I think Hershey's is. <laughs> you all right? Oh, my God. That is just, so. Oh. It's so good. <laughs> These are very good. I think it's. Oh, my God. Very, I think really their um, chocolate is very. Um, you want to see What's it? the difference? To this? It's, um, it's a very chalky, I think, otherwise. Not chalky. It's very. I don't know. It's not very good. It's very waxy. Oh. But this is very creamy. It's more more like the Cadbury kind of stuff, although they're probably the same company. That's very good. Yeah. Well, those are super space. good. It's very soft, though. Super soft. Yeah, like, if you if you put it in, like, 38-degree weather, it would melt. That's mm-hmm. how soft it, it already is. It would melt your pocket. Yeah, 100%. So All you got to buy it and eat it. Yeah. Well, that's really good. I do like that. Mm. Nice job, Stace. Very sweet. Thank you. Mm. Now we know what we're going to eat for the rest of the show. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, hey, thanks, guys, for joining us for Say Too Much. We'll see you next time. Bye. I got chocolate on my pants. Oh. Right here. All right. Well, that's a bad spot to have it. It's not good. No. All right. Bye, guys.